Hey, I'm Finlay. I'm an engineer and I've worked in the aviation industry for over seven years. I have extensive experience working on future aircraft concepts and jet engine designs with some of the largest companies in the industry. I've spent many years looking at the advantages and disadvantages of different technologies and systems that may emerge over the next few decades. Through this work, I've become convinced that in order for us to transition to low carbon global economies, it's going to take a lot more than just new technology. It's going to require effective government policy to limit the growth of fossil fuel use. When it comes to flying, the most important thing is that we limit air traffic growth by applying a price to the emissions it produces. This would also be a much more fair approach as the people producing the emissions would be the ones paying for the environmental cost. Recently, the conversation around climate change has been heightened by the great work of climate activists such as Extinction Rebellion. Most people should be aware by now that flying is one of the most environmentally damaging activities that a human can engage in. Therefore, one of the most positive things we can do to fight climate change is to limit the growth of air travel. Something that's not widely known is that international aviation emissions are not included in the UN climate targets laid out in the Paris Climate Agreement from 2015. Now, five years later, we need to ensure that emissions from this sector are included in the next climate agreement that's proposed for 2021. I believe there's an urgent need though to propose emissions pricing for international flights. Unfortunately, I've been aware of very strong and very concentrated efforts by the oil and gas industry and the aviation industry to avoid such proposals. They're attempting to mislead the public and politicians about the impact of flying and exactly what action needs to be taken and by when. In this video series, I'll examine some of the common solutions proposed by the industry and attempt to unpick some of the claims. Hopefully it will be educational, insightful, and it will encourage you to speak up in support of pricing aviation emissions. Thank you and enjoy.